Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, in, in terms of a polygon, every polygon has a very important parameter which is called a diagonal. Now, what is a diagonal of a polygon? So, it is a line segment that connects two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon. Now, when we talk about a polygon, we talk about its sides, that is the line segments which make the polygon. So, for example, if we take example of this polygon, so this is one line segment, this is the second line segment, third, fourth and fifth and these five line segments together form the polygon. Now, the points where the line segments are joined to each other, these points are called vertices. Now, the singular is vertex and the plural is vertices. So these are the vertices, these points and these are the sides, the line segments which form the polygon, they are the sides. Now, if we draw a line segment such that it connects two non-consecutive vertices of the polygon. So what would be non-consecutive vertices? So here this vertex and this vertex, they are like consecutive vertex. Similarly, this vertex and this vertex, they are again consecutive vertex. But when you say this one and this one, they are non-consecutive vertices. So if you draw a line connected, connecting these two non-consecutive vertices, that line is called a polygon. That's, that's called a diagonal. So basically any line drawn between two non-consecutive vertices is called the diagonal of a polygon. So all these are examples of diagonals. Now, a polygon can have multiple diagonals. Now, depending on how many sides the polygon has. Now, a polygon which has four sides will have lesser number of diagonals. A polygon which has ten sides will have more number of diagonals because more number of sides would mean more number of vertices. More number of vertices means there could be more possibilities of line segments joining non-consecutive vertices. So let us look at some more examples. So let's take the example of a square. So in case of a square, you can have a diagonal like this. You can also have a diagonal like this. So these are the two possible diagonals for a square. You cannot have more than two diagonals. Similarly, you can think of a parallelogram. So this would be a diagonal. Similarly, this could be a diagonal as well. So here also you can have maximum two diagonals, not more than that. Now you think of other polygons like the concave polygons. So there also you have the concept of diagonal. So you can join any two non-consecutive vertices. So this is one vertex. So for this vertex, this point and this point, they are the consecutive vertices. So you join it to any other vertex. This is a diagonal. So this could be also a diagonal. This could also be a diagonal. So like that you can draw several diagonals. Similarly, you can join this point to this point that is also a diagonal. This point to this point is again a diagonal. This to this is a diagonal. So you can have many number of diagonals. Similarly, in these uh, figures, if you look at a simpler concave polygon, here these two points, if joined together, this can form a diagonal. So uh, this is how you determine the diagonal of a polygon. Now let us look at the types of polygon depending on the number of sides. Now a polygon with three sides is called a triangle. So this is a triangle. Tri means three. So three angles, so that's a triangle. So here it has three sides and when you look at a triangle, how many diagonals do you have? Do you even have a diagonal for a triangle? Now since in case of triangle, this vertex, if you consider these are the three vertices, right? Let, let's name them. Let's say this is A, B, C. So if A, B, C is a triangle, point A, point B, point C, they are all the vertices. Now if you look at A, now is there any non-consecutive vertex for A? No, because both B and C are the consecutive vertices for A. Therefore, there is no non-consecutive vertex. Therefore, the number of diagonals that are possible in a triangle is zero. Now, you might say that why did we start with three? Can't we have a polygon with two sides? We can't have a polygon with two sides because if you have two sides, this is how it will be. It will be an open curve. It will not form a closed curve and a polygon has to be a simple closed curve. 
so therefore with two sides you cannot form a polygon can you form a polygon with one side definitely not because in this case it is not a closed curve again so for in order to become a polygon you need minimum three sides and of course you can have more sides for example polygons with four sides so these polygons are called quadrilateral so quadri the word quad comes from four so now there are many different types of quadrilaterals that is in some quadrilaterals the all sides will be equal some quadrilateral opposite sides will be parallel some quadrilaterals the adjacent sides will have some relations so basically there are many types of quadrilateral now similarly a polygon with five sides is called a pentagon penta means five so it is a pentagon six sides would be any guesses six mean is has come from hexa so six sides would be hexagon similarly seven sides would be heptagon eight sides would be octagon and so on so thus we see that any polygon which has number of sides 3 or greater than 3. So it could be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we can say that a, a, any closed, simple closed curve with n sides can be called as an n-gon. So that is how the, the naming convention is. So looking at this, you can guess uh, pretty easily that there are many different types of polygons that can exist. Now, Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.